Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. Now, if you want to try real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam. So I highly encourage you guys to click that like button and subscribe. That way you are fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So today and this week, we're talking about appreciation and depreciation. So let's take a look at today's question. All right. So the question says, Robin bought her home five years ago for $190,000. She sold her home last month for $199,000. How much did the house appreciate? And it gives us four options. So like usual, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here, give you guys some time to figure out the problem. So go ahead and do that right now. All right, if you guys need more time, feel free to pause here. If not, I'm gonna go into the answer and the explanation. So what is our answer in this problem? Well, it's going to be A, that's right, 9,000. So listen guys, there's no tricks going on here. The home appreciated $9,000. To find total appreciation, all you have to do is some basic subtraction. So let's do that real fast, just to show you guys. You're going to be taking $199,000, which is what she sold her she sold her home last month for, and then you're going to be subtracting that again by this $190,000, which is what she bought her home for three years ago. And what's that going to give us? $9,000. And you're probably sitting there thinking. If, well, if you got this wrong, you're probably sitting there thinking, what, are you serious? How did I get this wrong? Well, listen guys, they try and confuse you. They throw in easy problems, mix in with the hard problems in terms of the math. Sometimes it's as simple as reading the problem and figuring out what to do. And I've, I've, I cannot stress this enough, since day one when I started doing these daily real estate math questions, I keep telling you guys, and it's so true, the math itself isn't hard. It's figuring out the problem, reading it, and figuring out where to plug and play the numbers. That's what's difficult. The math itself is not hard. Often, you just have to do some basic subtraction, addition, multiplication, and division. And of course, this is a perfect example of one of those instances where you might think it's way more complicated than it really is. But yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this one. Not much to say here. Again, no tricks at all. A pretty straightforward question. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, all that good stuff, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical. I'll see you guys next time.